Welcome back. On the Saturday night, I've got nothing better to do, so I'll do another video. Uh, this is for creating uh, roof trusses. Um, so you can also see exposed beams in your roof. To do it, go to your geometric tool set, select the cube tool, and just create a cube. That's going to be our starting point. Then go to the drawing tool set, select the polygon foundation tool, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, keep it held down and click the left button on one side of your cube, let go of the shift key and then what we're going to do is start at one point and we're going to draw out ignore my spacecraft in my scene another roof truss and then we're just going to set the thickness of it now you can see it's turned blue that's because the control points are going to cause this shape to complete. All you need to do to stop this, go to the select tool, click on one of the control points, go to the object options and change the Y scale to let's say 20mm in this case. And then what we'll do is go to the draw tool and draw out that point. Right, click on that truss, go to options and we'll set the thickness of it. To whatever you need to set it to. Once we've got that, click on that shape, go down to the context bar and go build roof base. I know it seem, may seem a bit odd. And we're going to set the spacing. So in this case we're going to go 900 mil apart. And which is about three foot. And we're going to have zero overhang and it's going to be the same thickness as the other one. And we'll go build. Now if you hit the tab key, you can click on the next one, go, hit the tab key, go build, click on the next one, hit the tab key, go build. Now we've got a set of roof trusses which we can move with that cube. Once we've got the roof trusses, we can simply go to the shape tool, Select the rectangular shape, hold the shift key down, click and hold the shift key down, and while you're holding it down, click the left button on one of those roof trusses on one of the faces pointing out, let go of the shift key, and you can draw a roof face over it. Okay, and likewise on the other side. And there we go. We can use the right button to lift it into place. We can copy and paste that. And we can save that as an object for another project.